hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are doing amazing. So for today, we have a good friend of mine we have received, right? Um, but he's gonna tell us more about himself. So I said you take it from me. So first of all, thanks for coming, gentlemen. Thank you for taking time. You see, so I'm talking to you for really to stress. <laughs> But no, thank, thank, thank you for coming. Yeah, pleasure sure, is all mine. Pleasure is all mine. Yeah, I'm sure your journey in Peter is going to be inspirational to a lot of people. You know, mm. you've gone through, you've gone through it, hey. and you're allowed to talk about it. Yeah. So yeah. before you jump into anything, can you tell us about yourself? It's where you come from, you know, your high school journey, mm. all of that. Well, as I've already been introduced, my name is Sibu. I'm from Kwandebele, Kwakafontein. Yeah, born and raised there. Did my matric in Dogozweni Secondary School or FET rather, and yeah, matriculated in twenty sixteen. I don't know if that's relevant information. But yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, I don't know what else I can tell the viewers except for that. Okay, yeah. no, that's 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 enough. So, to to jump in straight to it, you matriculate twenty sixteen. What what was the plan? So what was the overall plan. Hey, <laughs> yeah, tell a laughing king. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, what was the plan? Right? So, what happened was uh, 2016, I matriculated. Um, while I was doing matric in 2016, I applied for, um, I applied at SMU and I applied um, for UJ as well. I think I applied for biokinetics AJ uh -huh. and I applied for, I can't remember the course that I applied for SMU, but it was during those times where you didn't have like electronic applications. So, you yeah, had to fax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I faxed and I don't know if they responded <laughs> or whatever, but there was no response from yeah. them. UJ, UJ is the one that hurt my feelings. Okay, wait, wait, wait what did you want to study? So, honestly speaking, I didn't know at the time. Okay. To be honest with you guys, I didn't know at the time. All I knew was I wanted to be in varsity. I wanted to study something in health science. Mm. What exactly? I was not sure. Okay. So then I applied for uh, biokinetics uh, UJ, and UJ took me, and then rejected me. How? <laughs> hey. Wait, they took you. They took me, and hey, wait, how? UJ. So what happened was I got a, I got a um an acceptance right an acceptance okay. letter okay you've been accepted whatever whatever I was saying I'm like okay man we're doing this we're gonna do biokinetics you know the family knew good I the boy born sure sure 2017 I'm there UJ few days after my status changes from accepted to rejected just to um space constraint. Like, Yo, wait few days after you got few the acceptance. Days, yeah, yeah, few days after, man. You have never heard of that. <laughs> That's when I realized I'm not saying I'm not saying UJ does it, but space selling something, something. Mm. I'm not sure, mm. <laughs> but that's what happened because I legit got accepted. That. Yeah, I suspect that because I got accepted and I was happy sure. that I'm going to UJ. Next thing, our uh, space, mm. and then that's how I took a gap year in 2017. Yeah, I watched Miss Lily to a point where I knew How bad is that? The time in, in Miss Lily, you know that show like they sing choral music. Oh Miss okay. Lily, yeah. Miss sure. Lily seventy land. Look, I knew the timetable by heart. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. When, when when you were taking the gap, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, rough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause I even applied for jobs. Mm -hmm. They didn't take me because of um, probably my age, because there was this other gent I was job seeking with. He got uh, a job and I didn't. And he was a bit older than me. So I don't know, maybe it was the age thing, I don't know. But yeah, the whole year I was literally seated at mm. home. Yeah. That's what happened, eh? 2017, man. Eh? Facebook, uh, if you can check my post, <laughs> uh, you'll see this one. I'm showing to be, this. <laughs> this one, yeah. He nah, was so close to be a fair Facebook, what what? But yeah. Facebook, what? Don't tell us Facebook, what what do you mean by that? Like I almost became, you know. Too deep into Facebook to a point where I was posting every single day, mm. jokes, whatever. Cause I mean, I didn't have anything to do. You know? So you're trying to do something. Yeah, 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 just to keep me busy and stuff. But okay. Yeah. So then, what takes place between 2017 and 2018? So 2017, after like I was I was busy with the gap year, I applied, <coughs> um, and I only applied to one university, <laughs> which is UP. I don't know where <laughs> I got the braveness. Sure. 
but I applied for UP, I applied at UP, and then, uh, so there was this other organization where you actually submit your documents, mm -hmm. there, everything, and then they would actually apply for you. So okay. you go pay the registration fee, Kutsaki, shout out to Kutsaki, yeah, they really helped us a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so you submit your documents, uh, if you, if like they needed um, fee, application fee, you go pay and then you submit um, the proof that you paid and mm -hmm. then they take those documents and apply for you using their own wow. computers and yeah they really helped us a lot a lot of students who are from Guandebele probably know good mm. like, yeah most of us no yeah. so yeah okay. i did that and then um even there was this other lady she was working he was working with i forgot her name sorry <laughs> but yeah so she's the one who actually applied for me because she applied for me for bsc physics extended program yeah. right and i wanted biological sciences so i told her anything that has to do with science okay so you wanted biological so you can transfer I didn't even, bruv, I wanted to be a university. Oh, you didn't just... I didn't care. <laughs> like, I didn't care. Even if they applied for, I don't know, BSc in mopping. Me, I was going to find out when I was here. But here's the mop, nigga. Do the thing. Yeah. That. <laughs> so, she applied for uh, BSc extended in physics. Mm -hmm. And then I got accepted. And then I was like, but I don't like physics. So what happened is 2018, when I got here, I then went to the people when I was registering, told them, I'm not really a big fan of physics. I'd mm -hmm. rather do like uh, biological sciences. And they were like, ah, the modules are pretty much the same in first semester. They will just switch second semester. Okay. But then I switched from like in, in first semester. I mean, as soon as I arrived there, I only spent like a week in the so physics and then I switched to biological sciences. So did you, did you know about biological sciences? No. No, you just wanted science. You just science, science. Science, yeah. science okay. I'm there. Fun fact, actually, I wanted to study okay. CA. When I was in grade nine, sure, I sure. wanted to study CA. I had to charm man. Yeah, man. It was this other um teacher of mine. Uh, she was teaching us arts. Mm. You know, she spoke about CA this other day, and then okay, I found it interesting. And then when I had to switch from primary school to high school, the school that my parents wanted me to go to didn't offer accounting anymore oh. so then it was either i take general stream which is tourism or science so okay. i took science that's how i actually landed in the science field okay so wait before we carry on but you said something you said that you wanted anything that will put you in the house yeah yeah but where did that come from like where did you get the um, i don't know I, I i i think i've always been someone who likes or rather who finds peace and you know joy in helping other people and I just wanted to be in a situation where I can help people, okay. you know. I just wanted to be in a situation where I wanted to help people. I didn't know which specific which specific course I wanted to pursue, but I knew what to If I can just see myself running around in a hospital, that's, that's okay. You know? But medicine was not here. Okay. Because from, <laughs> yeah, around that time, medicine, yeah, if yeah, you did sure. medicine, you, you were Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you needed to be very smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so, so shock you think that medicine, medicine, yeah, a lot of us were scared of medicine. Mm. Plus, a disclaimer, my marks, yeah, medicine and my marks. <laughs> They're going so much. <laughs> but I relate, but I relate. <laughs> yeah, it was not I can, I can relate. Yeah. So 2018, you're in, you know, so that's why I meet you. But yeah. <laughs> those, those are the good times. That's why yeah, I meet yeah, uh, yeah. Buddha. And it was a very interesting year for me, but... Uh, take us through your year, but how was that year for you? What were your plans? Mm. Those so, couple of years? I think uh, I actually enjoyed moms. Oh. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed moms. First of all, I was happy that finally I'm in university. Yeah, yeah. I'm studying, you know. Even the cars here, I'll always have my UP t shirt. You see those it's UPSRC? <laughs> to, make sure <laughs> to make sure I see To make sure I see the UP. Yeah. <laughs> And there would be there would be some people who would pronounce it up as I said, like no 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 uh, UP. UP. <laughs> but it was a very it was a very um I am not gonna lie it was a very you know it it, it, it opened up a lot of options for me in terms of uh, what I wanted to do because I I was although deep down I know I knew that I wanted to do something in health sciences there were other options that you know 
kept on availing themselves and I was like, hmm, this might be interesting. Hmm, this might be interesting. So, because in metric, I then got interested into genetics. Genetics intrigued me, you know, the life science, the genetics part of it. And then, so when I got into the biological sciences, I was like, genetics, okay. you know. Because also, to, to be honest, I... The reason why I didn't actually even pursue, because I know some people would be wondering why then didn't you pursue health sciences, was because of the whole procedure of having to transfer from like extended to health sciences, okay. the competition and all that. Mm-hmm. At that time, guys, me, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Right. You know, I was scared if I don't get in, it's gonna happen. You know, so I didn't want anything that's gonna jeopardize my opportunity. Because now I'm in university, so I was like, let me take the easiest route and go to PSC because they don't need a lot of admin. You don't need to, like, fight for a spot there. You just mm. sign the papers, and then you, there you go. You're doing PSC, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, that's how I learned PSC as well. Right. Apart from the fact that I got intrigued <coughs> by genetics and human physio. Sure, sure. Yeah. I, I was busy, right? Uh, like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, PSC, I was, the... look... I was skating in PC. I'm not gonna. That's nice. Her PC was nice, guys. Why, why didn't you stay in the chat area? Why, why, why can't you decide to change? Let me move Google a good. Yeah, yeah. You want to listen? I want to try. You go right. Hi, you go right. But yeah, ish, ish. The reason why I didn't. Uh, sorry to cut you off. The reason why I didn't um, continue with the whole PC. Uh, it's job opportunities, eh, guys? Job opportunities, this is why. Yeah, I understand. Why, yeah. I understand. All right. So tell us how far you, you, you went into BSc. <laughs> and then what what encourages now for you to look for stress? Unprovoked. <laughs> so what what happened was so I enrolled for PC triple major genetic psychology and human physio. Uh, due to lack of information, that sounds sounds hard. yeah yeah a lot of people were scared of it. Okay. Because it's one of those um, courses in PC where if you fail a uh, a module one module you repeat so it's like mm. this side. You know, unlike other courses, if yeah. you fail one module, That's all of them yeah all of you all of the modules that you're doing they basically. Core modules. Mm. So the reason why I enrolled for it was again I was intrigued by physio, genetics, and then psychology had to be you know part and parcel of the whole degree. Mm-hmm. But then um so back to why I switched. <laughs> <laughs> How did that come about? So in my final year, I was supposed to be doing my final year. What happened was I don't know, I just under underwent a certain situation mentally whereby I started asking myself if I'm ready for what the next year during that time ha- has to offer for me, you know, mm. because I that's when I started to research more about genetics. I realized yeah, it's either lab or lecturer or, you know, and I was like, nah, but I want to be around people. I want to help people, sure, sure. but be around people, you know, and then physio, physio, I taught me we were going to wear this. <laughs> you're you're about the human body. <laughs> so I thought you were gonna wear this. No, it's more of an academic field, um, physio. So psychology, I was like psychology, but then you know how like if you go and research about psychology, you have to have masters before you can actually practice as a psychologist mm-hmm. and the competition to be accepted into your master's program. It's 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 insane. You know, and I also wanted to do like your neuropsychology, which um, only a few universities, if not one, in SA offered sure, sure. that. Yeah, and so the whole competition now even grew bigger. Yeah. yeah. So that's when I was like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> so I added pharmacology, and then what I did was I was like, no, let me try apply for other courses because in my mind I was like, if I finish, and then I do great, I'll then to a different degree next year. So while I'm still inside the system, like UP, let me just do an internal application. Mm-hmm. And then genetics, yeah, had me by the jugular and all that. <laughs> so I decided, let me drop three modules <laughs> to increase my chances and my sure. average. So that so then, average yeah, next up, year, okay. yeah. And they told mm-hmm. me, yeah, they're not going to accept you, the student advisors, mm-hmm. faculty student advisors, they're like, they're not going to accept you if you do that. 
because you need to pass all the modules that you're supposed to do, mm. whatever, whatever. But I was like, you know what? Me, I serve the living God. I'm going to take chances. So I still yes. went in and did the internal application for dentistry. Uh, mind you, that year, it, so I already dropped three modules. Sure, sure. Yeah, so I know already whether I'm accepted or not next year, I'm coming so back. Come back. Yeah, and it's, it's my own doing. I don't know what I was thinking, NFSS, but yeah, that's what happened. Mm. And then next year now comes, I was put on a waiting list. Okay, wait, before we get into that, what, what inspired you to, to choose dentistry? <sighs> like yeah. I said, uh, Going back to the whole thing, I wanted to be around people. Mm -hmm. But then when I looked at all these now health science field uh, careers or degrees, nursing was not an option for me because of what the scope of nursing. Is just, and they, they go through a lot. Yeah, they go through a they lot. So yeah, nursing was not for me. Medicine as well was not an option because uh, me and blood don't mix like that. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Like, okay. No, yeah, I can't. Yeah. Okay. If I see someone who's been stabbed and they're okay. bleeding, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I can't. Right. So that was out. Radio, um, radiography, mm -hmm. physics. <laughs> so that was yeah, out. That was busy. <laughs> <laughs> so it was between occupational therapy and dent. The reason why I ended up applying for dent, it's because of how practical it is. You know, although it it includes like your biology, you know, studying about the human body system. By the way, guys, we do the whole mm. body. We don't deal with teeth. Which, by the way, you, you need to. I, yeah, I always yeah. wondered why you had to until I learned. Yeah, you actually need to, you know, need to know. You need to know the whole human body. Because of complications. Yeah. And physiology, yeah. So also, I like the fact that you also have to work with your hands a mm. lot, you know. So that got me into that. I was like, it's interesting because I'm interested in knowing how the human body works. But at the same time, I get to use my hands, you know. So it's more practical because I'm more of a practical person, you know. So that's when I decided then. Okay, yeah. you can carry on with the story. Yeah, it's applied really for dent, and then next year, the the following year, what happened was they put me on the waiting list. So I was like, okay, I mean, they did advise me with the <laughs> chances <laughs> you know, of you know, <laughs> hey, Yo, following year, I think. It was a week before registration. So it was around that time where NFSS was showing a lot of people flames in terms of the N plus, you know, because oh, we yeah, signed yeah. an N plus two con contract, but then now they were singing a different tune, you okay. know, N plus one. I remember that. So yeah, they, my portal there was like, my brother, you're not registering this year. Hmm. And then when I went to my portal, it was a week before, a week before the registration closed for the BSc. I go to my portal and then there's two holes there. I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, one. The finance one, I get it, but what's up with this one? I check and it's a contract hole. Mm -hmm. I need to submit a contract. I'm like, I submitted a contract long ago. Sure. And then I'm, I'm pissed now because I'm like, I don't have money and now you want me to give you a contract that I already gave you a long time ago. I buy data, I go to my email. When I get into my email, my inbox, congratulations, you've been accepted. Yes. <laughs> I remember it was around two past past one to two. PM or AM. PM. PM sure, sure. Hey, my guy. I was a hey, hey. cause now I'm left with three modules. <laughs> now I'm accepted in dent. Sure. And I was so close to actually like decline the offer. Because I was like, I mean you have studied, man. Oh, you wanted you wanted to you yeah, start so finishing the teaching. yeah yeah I wanted to finish it first mm. so that I can have you know options if they don't you know if it doesn't work out the dent part and then I'll just go because I also plan I was planning to go to military and do a course there under health sciences and if that didn't work I was since I added pharmacology I was planning to get honors in pharmacology because I also like grew some interest in pharmacology then. Now I have to decide mm. whether I take the offer sure. and I continue with the three modules, not knowing who's going to pay for those three <laughs> modules, <laughs> what's happening. And I call my friend. My friend is like, Lindo, I'm like, hey, old dog, I've been accepted. And now I don't know, must I take it? This guy was like, boy, are you even thinking about it? Are you I'm, mad? I'm not so surprised. Are you mad? <laughs> take that thing, brother, man. Take sure. that thing. And I was like, ish. But now I have to explain to the parents. With all these years that I've been studying down the drain, I'm studying a new mm. course from scratch. Mind you, I'm I'm a first born at home, 
you know, finances and financial situations at home are not. Uh, mm. They were actually like holding there, you know, hanging there. I mean, to be like, yeah, soon, soon. Definitely. Yeah, it will be done. We will support us, whatnot. And then I had to break the news to them. Like, okay, so here's what's happening. <laughs> there's this and then there's that. Sure. Now, this one, it's going to be time consuming for a while, but once we know, we know. Are you know, you know, you and then this like one we're taking chances, we're playing low to <laughs> this one. Which one do you prefer? And they, they were against it, honestly, mm-hmm. they, were, they were against it, they didn't understand. I had to convince them because I remember I even went on Instagram and checked my, my pictures that were on jabs and mm-hmm. events, trying to convince them. But you see, how do shout, shout out to the jets, <laughs> scrubs, scrubs, you, you, James, you were used to explain. <laughs> Scrubs time, but you see scrubs, <laughs> scrubs time, future, future, sure. you know, and then they didn't really like, they didn't vote yes for it, honestly speaking, mm. I took the decision by myself and I was like, you know what, let me take it, and then I took it and that's how my BSc degree, psh, down the drain, just that, like that. That was hard, man. So it was. Like, it, it, my, no, no, never mind the parents part, maybe, but for, for me, song. yeah, yeah. Because because like, was, yeah, 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 and, and yo. My friends are busy progressing here. Me, I'm gonna start the whole new degree from scratch yeah. with the situation that I have. I need money. <laughs> I need money. <laughs> you know, and like a lot of people don't know this because a lot of people know that I finished the whole degree. You know, I always tell them, ah, did it, I finished it because I'm avoiding a lot of questions. Sure. But I was left with three modules, guys. <laughs> So you want to say you practically finished it? Yeah, let's take, if you think about it, if, if, if you think about it and have a glass of water, I did finish it. But yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, then how, how is it going now so far? How is it going, number one? Number two, you just mentioned a very um, serious problem, especially for students, man. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned the financial situation, uh, funding, NAPA, NSFIs. Mm. So how is that? How you how, how are you doing with that? The problem started the moment I accepted that offer because now mm. I need to pay my registration. And if such there, when, when they started to fix the issue with the other PSC, I was not considered anymore because I switched. Mm. So it was chai for me, even if NFSS was trying to help, but it was chai because I switched. So I had to now pay for my own registration. It was fake. Yes, yes, fake. It was yeah, fake because yeah, yeah. I was like, because the person actually paid for my registration fee. I don't even know him. He's he's a mm. friend of my brother, big brother, extended brother. He's the one who actually helped me out. Like he paid, didn't want anything. I don't even know yeah. him nice. in person. Yeah, yeah. Nice. God bless that guy. He yeah, he yeah. did me a solid one. After paying the registration fees. Tried applying for bursaries, yeah, it didn't work out. And then, so I progressed from first year to second year without a bursary. So in second year, I was prepared to take a loan. And then Ida Mayer, for those who are students at my Melody campus, Ida Mayer deserves a very special place in heaven. Sure, sure. Because she's the one who actually reached out to these other ladies who helped me with my finances. And mm. then that same year, which was last year, I got this other bursary. It was a one-off, and they settled all my debt. And that's how I managed to progress from first, second, to third year. Nice. So they paid for both first and second year. Yeah. So the 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 bursary that I got just wanted my financial <laughs> statement, and I gave them my financial statement, which had like f- uh, spending fees from oh, yeah. yeah. Coming, so they just coming. cleared it all, and then. The ladies also helped me out. Even now, they actually are yeah, paying for my fees. Really? Yeah. They even, they even choose to take it again. Yeah, they, 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 they contacted me and they're oh, that's like, amazing, Yo, are you man. still continuing? I'm like, yeah, I'm that's like, amazing. okay, we'll pay for your fees. Wow. Do you want to give them a shout out? Shout or do you want out. to hide them? Because wait. Shout, out, shout out to the ladies. <laughs> I'm not going to say the names. Yeah, I, mean, I understand. <laughs> no, yeah, but shout out to the ladies. Yeah, God, God sees what you're doing. Nice. Keep man. on doing it. Because they actually, like, um, they own like a mining company, mm-hmm. so they have nothing to do with help. They sure. were just doing it because they're just helping out. Yeah, out of yeah. And I, also, when I say shout out to yeah. all the friends that supported me during that time, Kanye, mm-hmm. KG, Itu, Titus, Dano, everyone, I really appreciate 
you guys a lot. Nice, yeah. man. Nice. So I was like, I'm currently enjoying this thing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> you see, the thing is with this course, man. <laughs> Remember, we'll be motivating other people. <laughs> no, no. Here's the thing. We must be realistic and we must be honest to those who want to come and study dentistry. We're not sure. saying it's impossible. We're just saying whatever you, you, you think the intensity is in terms of difficulties, times that by 10 so that you can prepare yourself for what may come. And also, guys, please, if you want to do dentistry or you want to do medicine or whatever course, try and find someone who's already in that field before. So that you can actually see what they is because us, me, I thought, you know, we're gonna take out a tooth, we're gonna clean, clean, <laughs> then there. You There's can. a lot. There's a lot that happens under the dentistry umbrella, and yeah. <laughs> but it's doable. It's doable. it's doable. It's just that I was I was in shock, you know, when I realized that there's so much you can do inside the dentistry scope in terms of specialities and all that, but also the work and time. Then guys. Hmm. Dentist is, is very time consuming But it's doable, I'm not gonna lie It is doable, we have dentists today Because they went through the same process sure. Yeah. And they, and they, and they went Yeah, yeah The one, hey, the one yeah, yeah. But what about uh, encouragement you have it For someone wanting to study dent Go for it That's the only advice I can give you Go for it um, I know most people might have, you know, self-doubt, and which is something I had as well. As soon as I got into the field, I was like, imposter syndrome, you know, like maybe they took me by mistake, you know, because there you study with people who have <laughs> honors, masters in the same class. Mm. Some are straight A students from high school, sure. you know, and me, I'm there with my metric results mm. that are A, sure. you know, but... Go for it, man. Go for it. And I know you might be doubting yourself, but if it's meant for you, God will give it to you. You know, God will give it to you and pursue it and make sure that once you're in, you switch your mindset into a mode where there's no going back. Like, I'm in, I'm in. You know, no matter how hard it can be, you know, if you fail, you fail. Fail, it happens. You know, you fail, but just push on. Push on. And yeah, you...